Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Bulkum. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint a Haradrim Warrior from Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. I'd like to just give a quick shout out and thank you to Wrath and Ruin for sending up the miniatures that I'm painting in this video and in a couple of other videos as well. A few more Middle Earth Strategy Battle miniatures to go. So thanks for that, really appreciate you sending them up. If you'd like to support the channel, our coffee and Patreon page is a link below. Now on to the video. This is the miniature we're working on today. It's one of the Haradrim Warriors for Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. It's a really cool miniature, love the pose, love the details on it, and they are such simple miniatures to paint that they really are very, very nice and enjoyable to do. The first colour we're going to use is Citadel Retributor Armour. This is to do a few of the little details in the armour plates on a miniature. Really do set the miniature off quite nicely once it's all painted, because you have the blacks and the reds and the purples, and then the gold really, really stands out, so it does look quite nice once it's done. Next we're using some Citadel Araman Blue. I'm going to use this to do some of the smaller details on it. There's little, looks like gemstones or something like that. These little blue squares, so we're going to be painting them with Araman Blue. Now it's Citadel Zerius Purple. This is going to be to do the tie around his waist. Now you do find that if you look at the Citadel Miniatures page with these on, then you will find that a lot of them have the purple, the black, and the red in different places, so you can vary these amongst the squad. We're going to use Citadel Catachan Flesh to paint his skin. So you can do his face with that. And then some of them have bare hands, some are wearing gloves, so just have a check and see if you can work out which is which, and paint them up if needed. need to. Next colour is Citadel Bane Blade Brown. I'm going to be using this to paint up his boots. And also you're going to have some straps and things like that on his armour. Nice simple one here. We're going to use Citadel Iron Hand Steel to paint the tip of his spear, that blade at the front there. Now it's Vallejo Black. I'm going to use this to paint the bulk of his robes and also the boots as well. So we're now going to use Citadel Wildwood. I'm going to use this to paint the wraps on his legs and also the wood on the spear. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Agrax Air Shade and we are going to use this to do the shaft of the spear and also all of the gold. I'm going to use Citadel Null Oil to do the blade of the spear and also his skin. Next up it's going to be Citadel Carrowberg Crimson. I'm going to use this on all of the red.
Now we have a little bit of Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade just to do those Araman blue stones on the chest and the back. We have Citadel Druchy Violet, which we are going to use to do all of the sections with Xerius Purple on. Now we're starting to reapply the colours and we're going to be very quick with this straight in on the spear. So we're going to reapply a bit of the colour to the blade of the spear. You want to leave some of the shade in the recesses at the end of the blade where it joins onto those wraps. And also just try to leave some down the actual flat of the blade too, just to get a bit of discoloration there. Now I'm going to use a tiny little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome on the side of the brush and we're just going to trace that along each edge of the spear. Now I'm going to work on the gold. I'm going to start with Retributor Armour once more. So what we're doing here is we're going to be applying the Retributor Armour where the light is going to be catching them so that you have the shade in the recesses and then you'll have the Retributor Armour shining in those areas where light would be catching if it was coming down from above. We're now going to use some Citadel Liberator Gold to start highlighting that Retributor Armour. And again, thinking about where the light's going to be catching it because it's coming down from above. So if he's overhanging on that waistband there, the lighter parts are probably going to be near the bottom, except for that ridge at the very top. Also similar to the back there as well. Final highlight, we're going to mix some Vallejo Model Air Chrome with Citadel Liberate Gold. That will give you a really, really nice shiny highlight for the final layer here. All you're going to be doing is the areas where it's got lots of the Liberate Gold. You're just going to add a little bit of this to give it that really good shine. And you're going to use the rest of it to do edge highlights around the details on each of the armor plates. They have that edging to it. They have little details inside sometimes as well. So just pick out those details and then once you've finished painting those you will notice a really good shine that makes all those details stand out. Now I'm going to start working on the little wrap around his waist there in purple. So we're going to reapply the Xerius purple leaving the Druchy Violet in the recesses. We're now going to use some Citadel Jeans Dealer Purple to highlight those ties. So you want to be doing about 50% of the area that you did with the Xerius Purple. And that will be mainly on the crests, just slightly off camera there. But if you can imagine that you're seeing it while I'm painting it, happy days. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Pink Horror just to do the final highlight on those purple sections. So you are just doing the very top of the crests here just to make those stand out a little bit. It's worth noting as well, when you're painting these miniatures, they are quite a fair bit smaller than 40k miniatures or 30k miniatures. I think that's one of the reasons they're pretty quick to paint and very enjoyable. Now we're going to start working on the skin, so we're going to use Citadel Catachan Flesh and just reapply that colour to his skin, leaving the null oil in the recesses. We are then going to mix a little bit of Citadel Ratskin Flesh with the Catachan Flesh and just start highlighting these like you would do with any other face. You're going to be doing the highlights on the top surfaces where the light will be catching on the skin a lot more. Also on the fingers you're going to have slightly more light on those knuckles as well because they're a little bit more raised and standing out detail wise. Finally for the skin we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Kislev Flesh, mix that in with the previous mix and then we're just going to do final highlights with these. Now 
I could use a tiny little bit of Vallejo Black, probably could have done this when I was doing the eyes, to be honest, and I'm just going to be working on that little moustache that he has there. So you can give that a lick of black, and then we can move on to the next colour. As I say, you could do this after you've done the whites of the eyes if you wanted to, because that would mean you're just doing the eyes, and then you can do the moustache and the spots in the eyes all in one go. You're also going to reapply the black to any of the miniature where there's maybe been overspill from other colours as well, just to get all that on there. We're now going to do his eyes and also his teeth, if there is any, using a little bit of Vallejo White. So I'm using a tiny little brush here, it's the Army Painter Insane Detail Brush. All we're going to do is get a tiny spot of white on the brush and then you're going to drag the brush from his nose to the outside edge of his head and that will prevent you getting any little white spots on the nose. Now we are going to use a tiny little spot of Vallejo Black and just put those spots into the eyes. As I say, you could do this while you're doing the rest of the black and just do the white bit first. It is entirely up to you. Now we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo German Grey. And all we're going to do with this is use it on the black of his robes. I'm going to try and keep these quite dark so the German Grey is really good. It highlights it without making it too light. You're going to do the crest of the robes, leaving the normal black paint in those recesses and the areas that still be darker. And to highlight this, we're going to use some Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. We're just going to use this to do the very top of the crests and some edge highlights on certain areas to make it look like the light is catching the top of those ridges and so you can see the creases in the material. The robe's done, we're now going to use a little bit of Citadel Araman Blue. And we're just going to go around the edges of the little blue squares and stuff, just to make it look like the light is catching them. We're not going to do them all big and shiny, although if you do, there is a video on gemstones on Brush and Balkan that you could watch and that will give you an idea on how to paint them up and get them looking like they're shining. Now we're going to use some Citadel Balor Brown, we're going to use this to do the wraps on his legs. I was going to use it to do the leather wrap around the blade where that joins onto the shaft of the spear. I was going to use it to do some light highlighting on the shaft of the spear just so we can make that look a little bit lighter, get some of those details showing. final colour we're going to use is mixing a little bit of Citadel Rakar Flesh with the Balor Brown. Then we're just going to highlight the wraps on his legs and also on the spear. Like so. So this is the finished Haradrim Warrior. Really pleased with how it turned out. Really like the shine and the gold. Not too sure why it looks so nice on this one, but really pleased with how the gold turned out as well. But overall, cracking miniature with the tabletop. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel, you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.